Jesus babies, welcome to today's Bible teaching. We are continuing from where we stopped. The last time we talked about, can you remember what we talked about the last time? The judges. The, the judges. And we talked about Deborah as a judge. And how God used that to deliver the children of Israel from the hand of the king of Canaan. Cesera the captain and Jahir the woman who killed Cesera. Can you remember the story? Mm. Alright, so today we are talking about Gideon as a judge. Now, after Deborah, the children of Israel forgot God again and went to serving Baal. They were serving Baal as their God. And God was not happy with them. They did evil things in the sight of God. And because of that, God gave them into the hand of the Midianites. Say Midianites. Midianites. So every time the Israelites would plant, sow their seed, and it's time for harvest, the Midianites will come and destroy everything. So they will not have any harvest at all. So because of this, the Israelites became very poor. Say very poor. Very poor. And they were living in fear of the Midian, the Midianites' army. They were so afraid and hiding that the Midianites' army would not deal with them. And so it was during this era seven years of slavery in the hands of impoverishment in the hands of the Midianites that the angel of the Lord appeared unto Gideon. Say Gideon. Gideon. Yeah. And he said, Gideon, you mighty man of valor, the Lord is with you. Gideon said, me, mighty man of valor. I'm not a mighty man of valor. I'm scared. Can't you see what the Midianites are doing with me? If God is with me, why are the Midianites impoverishing us like this? And God told him, I am with you. Don't worry. I will prove to you that I am with you. This is what you are going to do for me. You are going to destroy Baal that your father set up. Gideon is the son of Joash. What is Baal? Baal is a god that they were serving. Just like the golden calf that Aaron built that time. That's that they also molded a, a, an image and they call it Baal. And they were serving it as God instead of serving the almighty God. So God told me, I'm going to destroy that fake god that they are serving. And you are going to take a bullock. The seven years what old bullock. Bullock? bullock is like a bull. You know bull? No. It's like a toro. Bull? What's toro? What's toro in ah, okay. Spanish? Bull. Mm -hmm. Bull. So, yeah, bull. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's it. That's Take a that. bullock and the one that is seven years old from your father's mm -hmm. flocks and you're going to sacrifice it to me. Gideon obeyed and did exactly what God said. And he took ten men from his father's servant and went there in the night because he was afraid if he does it during the day that they would kill him. He destroyed all the images and groves that they built to be serving other gods. He destroyed all of them. When they got up in the morning, they saw what Gideon has done and they were very angry. Every man of his father's house. They said, Josh, bring out your son. We are going to deal with your son today for destroying our gods. But Gideon's father told them, if your God is really a living God and has power to fight, allow him to fight for himself. You don't fight for him. Because when you kill Gideon, you are fighting for him. If he's really a powerful God, allow him to kill Gideon by himself. But you see, your God has no power where God is concerned. Where God is on your side and you are doing the will of God, your God cannot stand against you. And so, your God could not do Gideon anything. And God told Gideon, do not hide again. I'm going to use you to deliver the children of Israel from the hands of the Midianites. Because you have destroyed Baal now, I'm going to use you to save the Israelites from the hands of the Midian, Midianites. Okay. From the hands of who? The Midianite. Midianites. But Gideon was still afraid. He said, ah, God, you mean you're going to use me to deliver the children of Israel? Okay, give me a sign. Prove, prove it to me. I'm going to put some something like cutty wool out in the outside this night when the dew comes let the dew fall only on the cutting wool we call it fleece let it fall only on the oh, fleece that's in a, that is like like that and if they enter on it better you, they should pull a rope and then you will no no it's like the hair of is the wool like the hair of a sheep they scrape it out put it outside you understand he said i'll put in this fleece uh, outside outside like that he said in the night let the dew fall only on the fleece and not fall on the ground around yes, the fleece. Sir. That was a sign that he wanted God to give to him that he really wants to use him to save the children of mm. Israel. And God really did it in the night. The dew came down only on the fleece. The ground was not wet around the fleece. Only the fleece was wet. And Gideon excused the fleece. Water came out. And that was a sign that God was with him. 
that was good. But for him, he was not still convinced enough. He wanted to be very mm -hmm. sure what God wanted to do to him. He said, okay, God, don't be angry with me. Oh, this time around, I'm going to put the fleece outside again. This time around, let the fleece be dry. Mm -hmm. Let every other thing around the fleece be wet. And God also did it to prove to him that he was ready to use him to save the children of Israel from the hand of who? From the hands of the Midianites. Say Midianites. Midianites. With all these, the children of Israel gathered themselves around Gideon and they went to fight against the Midianites. But as they were going, God said, people are too many. The Lord said to Gideon, the people you are taking with you for this war, they are too many. Because Israel will come back tomorrow and say, ah, we were so many and we were able to defeat the Israelites by our power. He said, no, I don't want them to boast that it was by their power that they were able to deliver themselves from the hand of the Midianites. I wanted to see my hand in all this contour. And so God told them, told Gideon, tell all the men that came out for this war, if you know you have any fear in your heart at all, you are scared that, oh, this but I'm afraid, I'm afraid, go back. You don't need to come with us to this war. And when Gideon said that 22,000 men went back on me, you mean 22,000 men were scared. They are afraid. Men? Men, yes, they are afraid. And how many women? No, there's no woman. When it's Mommy, war, it's men only. Is that too much? Yeah, plenty. 22,000 is plenty. And who was left? I, I will talk about that. And there remained 10,000 men. So, when 22,000 men went back, there were remaining 10,000 men. And God still said, Gideon, 10,000 men are still too much for me to fight this battle. I don't need 10,000, I just need few men. 10,000 is still too much for me to give you victory. Okay, take all the men to the water. Let them go and drink water. And the one that lapped, the one that is taking water with their hand and putting their mouth to drink, mm -hmm. set them apart. The one that put their knees to the floor to drink water, set them apart. And when they set them apart, the one that lapped were the ones that God wanted to what use. What is lapped? The, the one that took water, that took water like this and drank. And they say, the one that just named that, sorry. The one that named them to drink water, that one is not ready for war. The one that took water with their hand like this, I want to drink like this. That's the one that is ready to go. The one that there were just 300 men putting their hand to their mouth to drink water. They were just 300 men. And God said, those are the 300 men that I want to use to win this battle. Let's say they, out of 10,000 men, God took only 300 men. And with those 300 men, God delivered Israel from the hands, the captivity of the median lines yes 300 men 300 very small from 10,000 to 300 god selected only 300 ah, so only these 300 men went to gideon and won the battle against the median mama, mama. when when gideon came back victorious over the children of Midian, the israelites were surprised that only with 300 men god could deliver them like that and they came to gideon and said gideon rules over us we wanted to be our king our judge and so gideon ruled over them for 40 years say 40 years 40 and years all through that 40 years there was peace in israel children of israel were not doing the things that god asked them to do and no country no people around them were able to molest them or impoverish them nor enslave them or fight against them again and for that 40 years the people enjoyed peace and progress after the 40 years, they went back to Baal again. Jesus. To Baal God. Who and forgot about Gideon. Forgot about everything that God used to give them to do for them. They even forget about Gideon's children. They didn't even take care of Gideon's children because Gideon had about 70 sons. Jesus. Yes, 70 How? sons. Because he had plenty wives. It looks like if they are copies, that like they will copy <laughs> what they have did before. They had plenty wives and they were just giving birth to plenty, plenty of children for him. Yeah. But Gideon died at a good old age. But unfortunately, after his death, the children of Israel returned back to serving Baal and disobeying God again. Are you ready for memory verse? Yeah, That's a memory verse. Memory verse. Judges chapter 7. Judges chapter 7. Verse 7. Verse 7. The Lord said to Gideon. The Lord said to Gideon. With these 300 men. With these 300 men. I will give the Midianites into your hands. I will give the Midianites into your hands. I will give the Midianites. I will give the Midianites into your hands. Into your hands. 
with these 300 men, with these 300 men, I will give the Midianites into your hands. Into your hands. Memory verse. Judges chapter seven verse seven. The Lord said to Gideon. The Lord said to Gideon. With these three hundred men. With these three hundred men. I will give. I will give the Midianites, the Midianites into your hands. Into your hands. With these three hundred men, with these three hundred men, I will give. I will give the Midianites, the Midianites into your hands. Into your hands. With these three hundred men, with these three hundred men, I will give. I will give the Midianites, the Midianites into your hands. Into your hands. Into your hands. Memory verse. Memory verse. Memory verse. Judges chapter seven, verse seven. Judges chapter seven, verse seven. And the, I mean, the Lord said to Gideon. The Lord said to Gideon. With these three hundred men. With these three hundred men. I will give. I will give the Midianites, the Midianites into your hands. Into your hands. Give yourself a big clap. Another, Another one. one. Super mighty one. one. So, this is to let you know that God does not need crowd to do what he wants to do. God can use few men to do what thousands would have done. And God did it to make them not to be proud and say, Oh, we saved it, we saved ourselves by ourselves. So they will know that they were delivered by the power of God and not by their own power. power. Not by their own power, but by the power of God. God. So when we disobey God, then God will put us into the hands of our enemies. But when we start obeying God and cry to him for help and promise not to go back again, he will deliver us again from the hands of our enemies. enemies. That was what he did for the children of Israel, using Gideon as their judge. And when they saw the great things that God did for them through Gideon, they said, Gideon, come and rule over us. May you rule over your enemies in Jesus' name. Amen. May you rule and reign in life in Jesus' name. Amen. You must be an obedient child of God to get to that level. Do you hear me, Jesus, babies? Yes. Now let's take a song that will show us that God can deliver us by His power, not by power. By might, not by power, by your spirit, Lord. Send your spirit, Lord, not by might, not by power, by your spirit, Lord. Send your spirit, Lord, not by might. Sing a stop playing. Not by power, by your spirit, Lord. Send your spirit. Let's go. Not by might, not by power. Not by power, by your spirit, by your spirit, Lord. Send your spirit again. Not by might, not by power, by your spirit, Lord. Send your spirit, Lord, again. Not by might, not by power, by your spirit, Lord. Send your spirit, O oh Lord. Give yourself a big clap. Another, Another one. Hand. Super mighty one. <laughs> okay. Our Jesus baby, we'll see you in our next slide on today's day. Like and subscribe and share with your friends and family.